bro, rising to you. Uh, it's the rising for me. Um, I'm obviously in motion right now, and I'm asking for prayer. Um, today has been for two things. Okay, <laughs> you know, a little bit I felt even as I was in my um, my prayers this morning, my rising ritual. You know, beginning the ceremony of this day. Um, I felt a little off, you know what I'm saying? Even when I was sitting there and like meditation and prayer and sometimes when it's like gray outside, Brother Benjamin don't do so well. I guess I'm I'm a, a child of the sun, maybe. Maybe it's just the energy of the sun and most of us I know I know my guy Mike of I am I, he says he's more focused and productive in uh like overcast, you know rainy days and I dig rainy days at times but man at, at times when it's time to get things done I just you know I, I need that sun energy baby come on shine on me baby <laughs> and today I just felt a little throat I had some things on my mind some energy dealing with uh, uh Jupiter's mother uh and we have a little tension right now and I don't dig that so I'm asking for prayers for that you know I declare I make my declarations I'm in divine alignment with all three of my children's mothers and um, and I just need some some prayers you know um, also I'm driving and my license is my state issued license is suspended so I need some prayers for coverage out here as well you know what I'm saying so you're not going to see this probably until I get there. <laughs> so I don't know what this is going to do, but you know what I'm saying? I just believe that, you know, even as I prayed and I didn't really go in too deep on everybody else today, you know, I just, I kind of cut my, my personal prayer, you know, cause I've been really like thinking about who is, who I'm engaging with in these social spaces in these social spaces, who's in my life. You know what I'm saying? Who is coming to my mind? And I'm just sending them prayer. I'm lifting their family up. I'm lifting their life up. And you pray for others like you pray for you. And is it weird? You know, is it weird that I do things like toilet talk and I say shit, pussy, dick ass, fuck, and words like that. And then I'll talk about how important prayer is. Oh, prayer is open. But it is. This is what it is with me. Like, you know, I believe words are powerful. I do believe that. Um, I believe intent is more powerful. I believe um, a lot of us have been, you know, I know I have, you know, throw it off, misinformed by uh, words, what words mean, what their intense intentions were when created. So language was given to us, you know what I'm saying? And it surely is spelling, you know, we cast spells and we say a lot of things and, you know, and I still miss it, you know, like yeah, I say Royal Rising, you know, because I've been around these Grand Rising people here and you know what I'm saying? I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? I understand mourning. When you really look it up and I suggest y'all to look up the English language being a you know, basically a book, a language of spells. Um, I do believe purity, you know, to the pure, all, all things are pure. And I remember a sister of mine, Aisha, shared this, this thought with me. And it stuck with me for a long time. And she didn't originate it, but she amplified it for me. And it stuck in my conscience. So I'm going to give her some credit for it. Uh, but when uh, when it's done from the heart, when something is really truly done from the heart, you can really do no wrong. You know what I'm saying? When we have a pure and good intent, it's not always accepted well. I'm going to be honest. I was reflecting on some of my um, my tension, you know, my issues, you know, intrapersonal issues with uh, individuals. And brother, if, if, if they knew my intentions, my will for them, and just because, you know, I, I find a lot that when you ask for accountability, you know what I'm saying, it just, things can go left, you know what I'm saying, when you ask people to be accountable for what they said, or just the baseline of morality, you know, you know what you have between people, you think you know what you have between people. Everybody's moral grid is not your moral grid or compass, you know. But when you, you're you eye to eye with somebody and you you're, you have a what you think is a good thing and understanding, you know. And, you know, 
when things go away outside of what you thought and it's time especially what was spoken said agreed upon and you're like oh whoa let's what about this thing here that you said you were gonna do um it's like pointing blame you know what i'm saying and i'm i could be good at that you know what i'm saying i could be good at that because i want to be right oh you want to be right all the time why do you want to well who the fuck want to be wrong I want to be right, so if you show me that I'm wrong, I can correct my actions. But if we run back our engagements, we run back our agreement, we run back what we thought we had here, and we see where the infraction um, happened, then, then somebody can take accountability for that initial infraction where things might have began to get sticky get uncomfortable get awkward fall apart you know and you know sometimes we just don't want to take it you know we want to use our position we want to use uh what is ours and the ego is a motherfucker man like i swear that's why you know And I used to say that a long time ago relative to just like, man, watch your pronouns. This was years before like the them, they, all this where it really got super muddy. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about from a, you see where a person's mind is when they start saying, I, me, I, me. And then, you know, this was, and then I end up reading A New Earth and, and Eckhart Tolle was talking about, you know, how the idea of ego is one of the first things, you know, kids that really get a, a sense of their individuality and their pseudo owner. The kids ain't buying shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to be like me, mine, but you start to see mine, me, you know what I'm saying? Um, and start to leverage their aut- autonomy, their sovereignty, their authority. Um, and I, so I've said that over the years, you know, how important it is to watch your pronouns. And now to really understand the origins, if you will, from at least um, the author Eckhart Tolle's perspective on ego and when we start saying those things. So, you know, this this thing with me, it wasn't really relative to the ego, it's relative to um, what I believe is the real currency, is one of the greatest currencies right now, is community, is us. They call me Brother Benjamin. My pronouns are we and us. And and I really live by that, you know. I mean, we got to make decisions for self sometimes. I get it. But, like, when we're serving of self more, we're that much more serving of our work environment, our family, our lover, our children, our friends, you know. If we want to help those in Sudan or help those in Palestine or help those homeless in Atlanta like the better that I am the better that I can be of service to them you know what I'm saying and so it does start with me first but if you realize that man I'm just a piece of this big us gee I'm just a cup of the water in the ocean I'm just a part of mankind people You know what I'm saying? Then we'll see, like, man, this shit is individual, but it's also a team sport, you know? And that's why I think it's so fucking vital to pray for one another. Pray for yourself first, you know? Cool. But, like, there's also this um, community that we have. We have for people around. We have people around us. And, like, you know, Kendrick said in that song, I think it's so powerful, but ain't nobody praying for me. And I think that's powerful also in a negative term because who wants to amplify that message? Everybody's praying for me. My mom's praying for me. My 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 children's mothers are praying for me. My friends are praying for me. Y'all are praying for me. And I'm praying for you. And I'm sending angels for you. I'm commissioning angels for you. I'm asking, Father, if I have any favor in your sight, please heap that upon Nadia, Deborah, um, you know, Joel, Rocky. You, Roots God, Uh, I believe it's Adonijah, she's been a big, like, push for me, soulful one, soul, like, and, you know, like, we need one another, you know what I'm saying, so pray for me as I pray for you, I have my ceremony today, it was beautiful, I hope yours is going well, try to upload this now, I'm hitting 10, the 10 minute mark, so I'm gonna cut off, but, you know, keep, keep each other on your mind and heart and, you know, still we us.